and greetings to everyone so it's me Vadim here again and um, today we are going to observe one more mm, theory lesson uh, lesson number five in the theory course and um, we are going to talk about the uh, intersections uh, the rules that can have to be these rules they have to be acceptable on the crossroads and we are going to, to, to talk about these rules as well and um, how to give way, for example, to different in different situations when we have to give way to pedestrians, uh, robots, for example, it's a brand new thing in our country, in especially in Tallinn. So it's uh, very important to know. Also, we had the new traffic act regulations about that. So we are going to observe these questions as well today. So let's begin. And let's begin with the with the intersection. What exactly intersection means, and um, what is not an intersection? So it's very important to understand where, uh, when you are passing the intersection, I mean crossroad, and when you are not passing the crossroad. So what is the difference? So the following is not deemed to be deemed to be an intersection. Any place where a car parks. So if this for example casual road cross uh, the um, the car park area and or exit from this car park area in this case it's not a crossroad the same calm traffic area if you drive on the casual road yeah carriageway you're passing it on the right side you see that um, road enters some area and you see it's calm traffic area then it's not a crossroad the same resting place for example somewhere um, sometimes you can see some resting areas for camping or um, for taking a shower or a toilet and this kind of stuff it's also not a crossroad or intersection an area adjacent to a road is uh, uh, which is connecting with the carriageway basically so for example area adjacent to a road it's a gas station uh, for the, from the first lesson, maybe you know when we talk, we, we were talking about the definitions. Uh, maybe you remember that area adjacent to a road is, um, for example, is a gas station. Yeah, it's area adjacent to a road. And then, for example, some factory areas. Yeah, so big factory areas and some uh, places like this. So they are they are not crossroad as well. So general requirements for crossing intersection. The driver approaching in an intersection must exercise such extra care as may be appropriate to local traffic conditions. So the driver also always has to be extra careful when he's approaching to the crossroad. He has to see um, he has to see the signs the traffic light to understand the situation on the road so even if you have a main road for example uh, you don't you don't have to rush on the crossroad sometimes it's better to give away to someone even if you have a main road so uh, the same if you are stuck in the traffic jam uh, it's better not to enter the crossroad because in uh, in this case you will uh, you will start the traffic uh, from other side for example if you're stuck here in the traffic jam and people wants to go from there in this way you will be blocking the road so these kind of conditions you like as you see here local traffic conditions you always have to follow uh, when it's possible to enter the crossroad when it's not what conditions you have so you have to observe these kind of uh, situations the driver must drive at such a speed as to be able to stop the allow uh, to allow vehicles having the right of way to pass so <clears throat> basically uh, if you have a giveaway sign or right hand rule uh, area so like in Nimme for example maybe you remember uh, or know this area it's a lot of uh, right hand rule areas same category crossroads are everywhere there it means that all the roads have the same priority so it's also very important to uh, approach this kind of crossroads very slowly in addition if um, 
another vehicle is coming from the right side, you can give him away to this vehicle, I mean. Because sometimes students are passing this kind of same category areas very fast and uh, they even do not check the right, the right side. But uh, of course it's very dangerous on the exam, they also uh, will be checking this uh, availability, how, how good you can pass this uh, right hand rule areas. So that's why you have to be extra slow all the time. So we are going to check this on the map, for example here. So basically, uh, if we don't have any uh, speed limits here, for example, maybe it's 50 here. No, let's, let's imagine it's 50. But still you can see that you have a right hand rule. This cross on the ground means you have a right hand rule. And uh, you see that you have a very bad visibility on the right side. But right hand rule means that you have to give weight to the car who comes from the right. So if you go 50 here and for example car here on this road also go 50. Imagine that no one of you stop in this situation. It will be a very huge accident in this case. So that's why it's very important to slow down here. Yeah, almost like 5 or 10 kilometers per hour, even not more than that check that no, no one is approaching on the right side if you see that no one is there then you can continue and go straight in this situation so i hope uh, this uh, this example is very clear for you now so of course uh, you have to consider one one more thing here so the car who goes here is usually not checking the left side of course so usually they check the right side, yeah? They also have the right hand rule uh, here. So he will be checking mostly the right side, not you, of course. He will be not checking you in this situation. That's why it's also important. If he is not checking you, you are not checking him. So then again, accident can happen in this case. So that's why this rule uh, applies here. Like uh, to allow, to be able to stop to allow vehicles having the right of way to pass. Safe intersection crossing. Uh, here it's very important to understand is intersection uh, uh, is regulated or, or unregulated, what priority signs you have or you don't have. If you don't have any signs, it means you have the intersection of roads of the same category. So every time you want you are getting close to some crossroad first you check if it's regulated or not regulated it means that maybe traffic lights yeah or authorized official policeman who controls the traffic or security guard sometimes so it's regulated then it's very simple you basically follow the traffic lights or the commands of this authorized official if it's unregulated uh, unregulated means that we have only signs, right? Uh, signs, uh, and in this case, we have to check what kind of signs we have. Giveaway sign or main road sign, and according to these signs, we have to follow the. Um, if we have to follow these sign rules, basically. It's very simple. We understand that it's unregulated because we don't have any traffic lights or policemen. But we see we have a giveaway sign. So means in few, uh, we have to give away to someone. And in this case, we have to understand to whom we have to give away. In this situation, you see the one way road goes right. And for example, we want to go straight. Basically, from right side, no one will come. Definitely because it's one way then we have to check mostly the left side. So if there is no one way road, for example, imagine this is two way road, uh, means you have to give way to the right coming cars and left coming cars. So this kind of uh, processes, uh, you have to, basically these processes will, ha will happen in your head all the time when you approach any crossroad. You have to check everything step by step, regulated or unregulated signs which kind of signs main road or not the main road giveaway sign or stop sign if you see the stop sign means you have to stop completely so car cannot uh, don't have to move at all right so <clears throat> you just stop 
also check all the sites, give away, and then you go. In this case, it's also important to understand that um, if you have a giveaway sign and you already see in advance that there is no cars, right? Uh, no cars in, um, on the left or on the right side. It means you can uh, uh, pass this crossroad on the same speed. For example, if you have 50, you can pass it on 50 as well. Yeah, if you see that it's safe, no cars, you just pass it. But if it's stop sign, doesn't matter. Anyway, you have to stop completely, even if there is no cars on the left or on the right. And uh, the final one, if we don't have any signs, it means this intersection uh, is uh, the crossroad of the same category roads, basically. So right hand rule applies, like we, like we talked on the previous picture, on the previous slide, then you have to take this extra care when you approach the same category crossroad. Let's check the picture. So this is the place where we took this. For example, uh, one more thing, how can you see, do you have a main road or not? Sometimes it's very confusing because you don't have any signs on your side and you only have it on the left side and on the right side, like here. Um, for example, you are moving on this road, right? You see the crossroad. It's also in the map, the Sparky Street, maybe you remember. Sparky Tanov. So I see the crossroad. How do I know that uh, I have priority here or not? No signs before that, right? So maybe I don't have priority in this case. Um, or I missed somewhere was the sign somewhere behind somewhere there far away there was a sign and um, I missed it and um, now I don't know on which rule applies on me on this crossroad so I see they have giveaway sign and they have giveaway sign so I see that they basically have to give away to me it means that I have more priority and then and also therefore it means that I can pass this crossroad just on my casual speed limit if it's 50 then I can pass it with 50 also I can see that they have a one-way road there sign one-way road sign let's look at from this side yeah they have giveaway and one way goes left so I also can understand that I have a one-way road and and uh, in this case so it's very really helpful when I look on this kind of signs which are located on the other sides of the road then I can also get some very important information in this case so let's continue then so is this a crossroad how do you think in the beginning I told you that any place uh, which intersect with the comb traffic area is not a crossroad so in this case, this place is not uh, is not a crossroad. And who has priority here then? Another question, because we don't have any signs and this car, uh, if this car goes here, also don't have any signs. So how do we know that it's crossroad or not? Uh, do we have priority or not? We have to understand this somehow. Let's see. There is a rule in the traffic act the driver emerging from a car park, home traffic area, an area adjacent to a road or their access road onto a carriageway must give way to road users traveling on the road. So it means if I exit from the car park, like here, home traffic area, area adjacent to a road, like gas station, it's here on Kadaka actually, uh, the Nesta gas station. So if I exit here, I have to give way or to the road users who are traveling on that road. Very simple, right? Or here the same situation. So anytime I enter from the comb traffic area, I also have to give way to the road users who are traveling on this road there. So try to remember, yeah, car park, comb traffic area, area adjacent to a road, so it can be a gas station. Um, I always have to give away. 
and also we can see unless the obligation to give away is regulated otherwise by traffic control devices. Now, for example, if uh, it's very main, it's very important road uh, here for for someone, and um, the owner of this road, for example, wants that this place will be like uh, more, will have more priority in this case, so he can put the signs. For example, let's see, uh, let's say that this exit from here to this road is the main road. In this case, of course, we don't have to give away. We have a sign that this road is um, the main one and we can exit from uh, this gas station uh, using our priority sign, basically. No, it's uh, very, not very often, let's say. We don't have a lot of these kind of places with uh, this kind of situation, let's say. So mainly try to remember uh, this rule. So this intersection is regulated or not? How do you think? In the beginning, I explained that a little bit. So many people think that if they have giveaway sign also, they starting to confuse that maybe this road is not regulated, but we have a traffic light. So means this crossroad is regulated and we have to follow the traffic light only. But then some people ask me, why then we have this giveaway sign? How do you think? The right answer here that if traffic light is not working, for example, during the night time, it's blinking only yellow, right? If traffic light is blinking with the yellow light, it means uh, traffic light is not working. So in this case, crossroad is unregulated. And then we can basically pass uh, the crossroad only if we give away to someone in this case. So we don't have priority. But now, crossroad is regulated, we have a traffic light green, we have to go, basically. We don't have to give away to anyone, we just go straight. Uh, there are some obligations to give away if we turn left, but we will talk about that on the next slides. The same situation, and uh, almost the same situation in question, uh, is this intersection is regulated or not? Some of you will tell me that uh, it's regulated, yeah, because we can see the traffic light and um, means basically we also can see the stop sign, stop line and stop line sign also. So some people think it's, um, it's regulated, but actually it's not. In this situation, uh, we have uh, the, the regulated pedestrian crossing. So it's not a crossroad. So crossroad basically intersection, I mean, is only here, right? We can see the borders uh, clearly. And uh, for example, if this car wants to go left, basically this car can go left. Nothing stops us, only giveaway sign. But this red light is only for this car. Uh, this car has a stop line also and this car wants to go straight. In this case, <clears throat> and this car has to give way to the pedestrians and stop and wait until this car has a green light. Yeah, but for this car, it's not a problem. We can go left and actually we also can go right. There is a rule actually. I will explain it here. It's uh, also the place in Nimi very popular on the exam. So you see they have kind of deleted stop lines, but still they have it. And here we can go right, the same situation. So in this case, crossroad is not regulated. So we can go straight, we can go left, uh, nothing stops us. And on the right, we also can go. Even if it's a red light here, we can go right. But um, we the only obligation we have, we need to give way to the pedestrian. So if there is no pedestrians, we can go right, enter the crossroad, the pedestrian crossing and pass it freely. So we don't have to do anything basically. So this kind of confusing rule we have in Estonia as well. So it's basically not a problem and uh, don't get confused on the exam because sometimes people just stop in front of the pedestrian crossing and wait until uh, it blinks green again. But actually you don't have to. The only thing you have to do to give way to the pedestrians and then cross it even with the red light. 
so it's not a mistake of course so what is a regulating intersection if the crossroad is not regulated then you have to follow the next steps like I explained in the beginning uh, do you have priority signs or not like this or maybe uh, this is a main main road sign main road uh, ends sign for example giveaway sign if you have stop sign as I explained that also so priority signs you always have to know and you know how to how they look like and um, what you have to do basically when you see these kind of signs this sign means usually all the people forget about that cross in sight just try to remember also maybe you remember on the previous picture we had them um, on the asphalt yeah road marking also cross so this cross means intersection of same category crossroads basically of same category roads and also try to follow the road surface markings sometimes they like I explained already on the previous picture yeah here uh, we don't have any signs before the crossroad but we have a road marking down here so it means we have still the, uh, the same category crossroads here So these kind of things you have to follow. Priority signs. If there is no priority signs, then means um, maybe this road is uh, have the same uh, same. Uh, maybe this crossroad have the same category roads in this case. And if we don't have even this sign, this one, then you have to follow the road surface markings. If we don't have anything, basically, no signs, no road markings, nothing. In this case, also you follow the right hand rule then. It's the most uh, common and simple rule basically in the Estonia. So, intersection geometry, and you can see that they can be different shapes. Uh, some people think that crossroad intersection can be only like this, like cross, right? So one road here, one road here, and we have a crossroad. Actually not. Basically, sometimes they can be like T-shaped crossroad. T, I mean like letter so one road here and uh, one road enter here so basically it doesn't continue it's also a crossroad this one as well like Y crossroad X crossroad and roundabouts of course of course roundabouts are also crossroads basically they have many roads intersect on one level so uh, what are the um, references for the priority road as we talked already about that main road sign then sometimes you can see uh, this kind of sign picture it basically means it's this kind of shape yeah of crossroad you can see that crossroad goes uh, main road goes right you can see the fat line right so main road goes right in this case and we have two secondary roads if we apply this sign on this crossroad then basically main go main road goes right here and this and this are secondary roads so if i want to go right everybody here who are located on the secondary road they have to give me a way and this one uh, this sign means um, intersection with the secondary roads on the left and on the right. So you have priority in this case if you are located on this middle uh, fat line again. So fat line basically always mean that you are on the main road. Uh, also, sometimes it um, doesn't uh, basically it's. Uh, you don't have to follow only the signs. Sometimes you can see some other references on the road. For example, here we have an intersection, right? Here and one road goes here. Here we ha here we see a lot of road markings, some barriers, signs and lamps, a lot of things, right? 
two or three lanes in one direction or other direction also pedestrian pedestrian sidewalks and this kind of stuff so most probably in this case you are located at the moment on the main road so you don't have to stop on every crossroad here if you go straight and check what happens on the right this kind of references you have to use sometimes it's difficult to understand but um, still try to use them but here I also see that they have giveaway sign for example right so it's very uh, very easy to understand that I'm on the main road in this case non-priority road the same uh, situation giveaway sign stop sign as I explained the difference in if it's giveaway sign you just give away stop sign means you have to stop completely and give away let's say you have to stop for two or three seconds um, there is no such rule actually about seconds I mean but um, for the students it's e uh, like easily to understand that it's better to stop for some period of time then they wait completely do the stopping and then they continue so basically your wheels on the car they have to stop completely and do not turn uh, anymore at all and let's apply this uh, sign on the picture of the of the um, of this crossroad so as you see secondary road secondary road and this road goes up yeah goes up from left to up means they have main road so basically here you can see uh, this road goes up means this turn and road is the main road and if we are located here or here we have the secondary road so we have to give away to the cars who come from this side or this side basically even if they go straight also doesn't matter if even if they go straight um, we still have to give away because they are exiting the main road anyway and here also uh, we were talking about the references here it's definitely clear that uh, this road kind of not very big no road markings no uh, sidewalks nothing so most probably in this case uh, you don't have priority right so this kind of references you have to use you have to understand what kind of roads are uh, have more priority what kind of roads don't have priority and uh, mo most possibly in this case uh, right hand rule works so it's the same category crossroads area here and um, then you have to give way to the right coming cars basically Yeah, and the references that we can see for the same category crossroads. If we see that main road ends, so after that can be uh, this same category rule can be applied, right hand rule I mean, or if we see this kind of sign or ALA. ALA means area. So all the crossroads in this area have the same priority. All the crossroads. So on all the crossroads in this area, you have to follow the right hand rule and uh, this ala can be cancelled only by ala sign the same sign but this sign has to be like uh, striped crossed with the um, uh, it has to be crossed with the stripes like this so basically ala cancelled and this uh, ala is not valid anymore but this sign can be cancelled by the crossroad basically so we pass the crossroad and this rule will not apply on the next crossroad already 